Hey guys, Chef Wu Can here today. How are you? Today is Tuesday, and it's a beautiful day in August. And today's program will be going back to basics. All right, so I'm sure everybody has tried beef with broccoli, chicken with broccoli, shrimp with broccoli, um, all types of dishes that have that brown sauce in it. Today, I'm going to show you how to make it yourself. And then, taking that brown sauce, we're going to add maybe a couple of cloves of garlic so you get the garlic sauce. So it's really easy to make. And let me just show you exactly what ingredients we'll be using. We're using dark soy sauce. Now, although it says soy sauce, this is not a true soy sauce flavor that we're used to, like Kekoman or any other sauce. It's more for coloring. Obviously, we're going to use oyster sauce. Oyster sauce was a discovery by Mr. Lee, Gum Gay, in China. And he was just experimenting to create different sauces. And he decided to use uh, oyster extract in the blend with some sugar and some salt and soy sauce. And some cornstarch solution to thicken it up. And what he got was a beautiful oyster sauce that was not too strong, not too light, perfect in terms of taste. And he started using it and then it became popular. And then it went all over China, Southeast Asia, Japan, Philippines. So in all those countries in Southeast Asia and the Far East, they have something, something similar to oyster sauce. It may not be called oyster sauce. They may change it a little bit, but it was very famous and he became a trillionaire, all right? His name is Mr. Lee, L-E-E-K-U-M-K-E-E. -E -E. Now, that's his name of his company. And obviously he has um, created many, many sources. And so if you go to an Asian grocery store, you'll see a lot of his sources on the shelves in practically every Asian store. And even in Western markets, you'll be able to see his brand of stuff. I like it because it's quality sources, all right? It's not cheap commercial just to make a profit. I mean, he takes pride in terms of exactly what he puts into it. And I've been using it for years and I love it. All right, so dark soy sauce, oyster sauce, we have a little sesame oil. No, we have a little Shaoxing wine, sorry. And we have a slurry solution which is equal parts of cornstarch and water together, creating a little thick little base used to thicken up the sauce. Now, in terms of making it and storing it, you can put it in a pint container and refrigerate it and it will stay for as long as you can. Obviously, I want you to know that it's based on your taste. So if you want it to be a little sweeter, we could add a little sugar to it. If you like it a little saltier, you could add a little bit more oyster sauce to it. If you want it a little thicker, you can add a little bit more slurry solution. But whatever you do, you'll be able to stick it into the refrigerator in a container and it will last for a very long period of time. Now, you would think that the brown sauce would be good with beef. So you would use a beef bouillon. But in this case, I took a couple of chicken thighs. I deboned it. I put the bones in a pot and I low simmered it for a while. So you got a little bit of the collagen in the chicken, and I add a little soy sauce to that. So basically, um, you have an additional flavor of soy sauce in the broth. So I'm using chicken broth. So that will incorporate a little soy sauce, a little oyster sauce, a little Shaoxing wine. And we're gonna put it together with the slurry solution. And that's it, that's your brown sauce. So the magic in terms of making beef with broccoli, chicken with broccoli, um, uh, chicken with black bean sauce, pepper steak with beef, any of those dishes, that brown sauce is the brown sauce you'll be making, okay? So depending on the color, you may like it kind of blandish brown, but if you want it to be more robust color, you'll add the dark soy sauce, okay? And I'll show it to you, all right? So watch me as I do it, okay? Let's turn the uh, butane stove on. We have the uh, 
chicken broth here. And so we're going to add about three, four, five, maybe six ladles of chicken broth. Now this chicken broth is with the bones, right? So you're going to get a lot of collagen, so it's going to be very healthy for you, right? So we'll let that boil a little bit. But after we make the brown sauce, we'll take that brown sauce and we'll add some garlic. And obviously we have the cleaver flat. This is a one piece high carbon steel cleaver. So you don't have to worry about the handle coming off as you're chopping. You take the uh, garlic, which has been peeled already in a container, up and smash down. And then we put it together. And we'll have that bear claw, and we'll hold down the mashed uh, garlic, press it down, and then we'll go with the cleaver down and, more, and forward, down and forward, down and forward, and we'll move our fingers back, down and forward. We'll lean the knife away from our fingers so we don't cut it, and that's it. So you're basically creating two sauces tonight, a brown sauce. used in most of the Chinese dishes that you've been used to from Chinese American cooking. All right. And then we're gonna add garlic. We're gonna infuse the garlic in the sauce to give it a garlicky flavor. So the longer that it's in the sauce, you're gonna get more of a garlicky flavor. Then you can actually take out the, uh, the garlic if you want or can leave it in there and that just adds more flavor with pieces of the garlic in. So the uh, chicken broth is heating up. So we're gonna add the soy sauce. So although there's a little soy sauce in the chicken broth that I added, we'll add a little bit more. And notice I say a little bit more because we can always add, but we can't take out. Then we'll add the oyster sauce. I say two tablespoons, three tablespoons the most. Then we'll add a little Shaoxing wine to get a little sweetness, around two tablespoons. Then we'll add some dark soy sauce. Okay. Three tablespoons. The uh, dark soy sauce, we'll add about two tablespoons. We'll mix it up. And to give it more flavor, if you love sesame oil, you can add a little sesame oil to it too. So you get a nice balance of flavors. All right. So you let it boil. You look at the color. You don't want it too dark, but you don't want it too light either. All right. So we just added just enough dark soy sauce. So we'll add a pinch of sugar. Mix it up. Now we'll add the slurry solution. And always remember when you add, whenever you add the slurry solution, you always want to have it cooked on the high flame. Sometimes people add the slurry solution and then they don't cook it enough, so then when they taste it, it tastes kind of pasty. You don't want that. Even slurry solution has to be um, cooked. Now see the color? You like this color? It's delicious. And we add a little bit more Shaoxing wine. If you don't have Shaoxing wine, you can use white wine. Then, we may want to add a little white pepper. White pepper always adds a little bit of spice to it, but not that much. Although it's stronger than dark pepper, it's highly recommended. I like this brand. 
Or you can buy the wet, the white pepper seeds, and just put it in your grinder. So you taste it. We want to add a little bit more sugar. And you may want to make it a little thicker. And if you want to make it a little bit darker, you can add a little bit of dark soy sauce. I rather add the ingredients little by little so you can always add it, add more if you need it. But if you add too much, it's hard to take back. And then we'll taste it again. We'll always taste it. You gotta taste it. Mm. Alright, so. It's done. Right. Put it in a plastic container or a jar. And let it cool. And then put it in a refrigerator. And there's your brown sauce. Right. So you can actually make your beef with broccoli, chicken with broccoli, uh, shrimp with broccoli, with this brown sauce. Everything's all made. Now, garlic sauce. I take, I take uh, the fresh garlic and I chop it up. If you don't have fresh garlic, you can use garlic powder. All right? So what we're going to do is put it in the, in the sauce, stir it up, we'll keep it on low, and basically the garlic oils are going to infuse with the sauce. Alright? So you just let it keep on stirring it. And maybe the next 10 minutes, those oils in the garlic cloves will go into the uh, sauce and you'll get, have garlic sauce. <coughs> Excuse me. Alright? And that's it. One, two, three. So your sauce is already made. You just have to buy the broccoli, the beef, the chicken, the shrimp, and add a little bit of sauce, saute it, and you're done. It's already thickened. But make sure you put the sauce in first. Make sure you blanch the meat, the broccoli, or the chicken, and the broccoli, or the shrimp, and the broccoli. Blanch it first, right? Blanching means that it's halfway cooked. Right? And then you throw it into the sauce. And you saute it, stir fry it. And you're done. Boom. And the flavor of your shrimp, your chicken, and your beef will be much more sharpened because of the this, this sauce. Right? So if you like a lot of sauce, the shrimp and the beef and the chicken will all bring out the flavor of the sauce. So even if you make broccoli, uh, the chicken and the beef and the shrimp with broccoli, each of those dishes will have a unique flavor because the shrimp has its own unique flavor, the chicken has its own unique flavor, and the beef has its own unique flavor. So although you're using the same sauce, when you stir fry it, you're going to get a very distinct flavor of each cut of meat that you use. So we'll stir it. And once it's infused, there's our brown sauce with garlic sauce. Our garlic sauce. Let's taste it. All right, so. Mm. I taste the garlic. And when you have the bits of garlic in it, it just brings out more of the garlic flavor too. So we'll shut it off. And we'll get it in the And this will be our brown sauce. So I'll have to find out about the uh, container, enclosed container, but that's your brown sauce. Let it cool, stick it in the refrigerator, and you have your brown sauce right there. 
So you don't even have to go out for Chinese takeout anymore. You just get your ingredients, you know, whatever it is, let me know. I'll tell you if you need the brown sauce. And if you love it, you made it yourself. One, two, three. Okay? Now, you have any questions, just let me know. Pepper steak is good with it. Uh, the broccolis, the, uh, uh, the uh, black bean sauce, you can do. You take the brown sauce, you get the black beans, you ferment it, that let it uh, reconstitute with the water so it softens up. You press the black beans and then you add it to the sauce. And then you got black bean sauce, right? So, brown sauce is the base sauce for all Asian cooking, right? But there are distinct dishes that don't use brown sauce. Now, when I was in New York, obviously, um, as many varieties of food that I've had, maybe one or two dishes would have brown sauce. But it's really geared towards predominantly the Chinese American dishes. Traditional Chinese dishes may use maybe the oyster sauce in a different way, right? But traditional Chinese cooking uses different kinds of sauces, right? We, we may not call it brown sauce, but it's tied in with stir frying, and we don't use as much because we want to bring out the flavor of all the ingredients that we put into the stir frying, right? So um, for you guys, beginning, Midwest, down south, you may not have uh, as much variety, but those restaurants that do offer you the takeout and the restaurants, they do use brown sauce, and now you know how to make it, okay? It's very easy, one, two, three. It's oyster sauce, a little soy sauce, dark soy sauce for coloring, a slurry sauce to thicken it up, Shaoxing wine to give it a more sweet flavor, right? If you don't have Shaoxing wine, you can use regular wine, Pinot Grigio or Chardonnay, but make sure you use the wine that you can drink. Don't buy the cooking wines, all right? That's another way for the manufacturers to get rid of the bare bottom of the barrel wine that's left over. So they rather throw it out, they bottle it, they use it as cooking wines. If you can't drink it, don't use it, all right? Some white pepper. Now, I, I'm showing you this white pepper here, but you may not see that in your store. So they probably may have white peppercorns. This is a little bit different, more, more strong. So if you've been used to black pepper, try the white pepper, you might like. And then you adjust the flavor. More salty, add more oyster sauce. A little thicker, add a little bit more slurry sauce. You don't want just brown sauce, you wanna add garlic to it. So if you have garlic powder, use garlic powder. But I like to use fresh garlic, right? So I smash it. I put it in the sauce, let it infuse for a while, and that, that will release a lot of the garlic flavor, right? And then you'll, you just have to keep on tasting. You should notice a difference. And when you have the bits of garlic in it, it just adds more potency to the garlic, all right? So if you like this video, um, please subscribe. By subscribing, you'll be notified of all future um, videos. And please comment. Um, I try to answer the comments as best as possible. I still have to work on a, uh, a mustard green soup for a woman that is interested in that. And lamb. I haven't gotten a chance to get some lamb braised. So I have two items that I have to fulfill. But uh, if you have any questions, give me comments. I always enjoy a course of back to you. And for the person that had subscribed on my 100th video, the hundredth viewer, I'm still waiting for you to let me know what you, exactly what you'd like me to cook for you, because I want to dedicate it to you, because you made a hundred subscribers. So I haven't forgotten that. So I do watch it, and I do appreciate it. Tell your friends all about Chef Wu Can. Chef Wu Can, you can too, all right? So I don't try to make things complicated. I try to cut, use shortcuts if I can, and still retain the flavor, all right? I hope you liked uh, the uh, video on uh, hip hop soul fried foods in my car. I'm trying to change it up a little bit in terms of venue. I'll be on TikTok soon, doing TikTok to the young people and trying to, uh, I'll be in disguise obviously. And uh, I'll be wearing a cowboy hat and maybe a pair of sunglasses with the American flag on it. My daughter's a 
concerned about you know people recognizing her father on TikTok. But you'll see that soon. I just have to work on a minute video on a special item. I may have to do a voiceover, but I'm pretty excited about that. And if you still guys are still barbecuing outside or grilling on the grill, and you guys are uh, hot and spicy lovers, we have a uh, uh, crunchy garlic chili oil relish that you can use to marinate and, and baste your food on. It's delicious. The relish just adds more flavor to the uh, whatever meat you're using. And if you're into uh, organic and raw honey, spicy honey, I have that too, a relish, as well as the organic honey with a piece of honeycomb in it to give you a, an, an actual flavor to eat healthier. All right? So that's at Chef Who Can Collection dot Etsy dot com. And my regular website is Chef Who Can dot com. And basically, I'm a restaurant critic, food blogger, and I've been able to go out a little bit and, and try local fairs and, and new, new types of uh, restaurants that I, that I haven't known about. Some friends have recommended the place, and I'm pretty much uh, impressed, I'm, and I've given good reviews on it. And I'll be working on some uh, chain stores that are countrywide, to let you know how I feel about it. And, uh, I'll be telling you about that in, in future uh, uh, articles, all right, reviews. So again, thank you again, and I want to thank all my subscribers for subscribing. Tell your friends and relatives. I always appreciate it, and uh, I hope that you find that my methods are, you know, pretty methodical. There's a certain way of doing things, and I hope you you learn a little bit from me about it, so you can do it yourself, and save some money. Right now, with the uh, the uh, Delta variant, you know. I guess I'm going to be forced to uh, take out, but how much takeout can we really eat? So I guess we'll be learning how to uh, cook ourselves, and I hope that these videos will help you save a little bit of money, and I'm going to show you how to be a little bit more budget conscious with maybe different grades of beef that, you know, you know, are a little bit cheaper, but I can make it so that it would taste a little bit more expensive, you know, with a couple of uh, tricks. All right, so thank you again. Remember, if Chef Wu can, you can too, and I'll see you again, and aloha, and I didn't give you a toast today. I'll have to give it to you on another day, all right? But thank you, and enjoy your week. Bye-bye.